All right, so in this video, I am going to be showing you how to create your online course website with Twitter LMS and Divi. All right, so Divi is a page builder, and I know there's quite a few page builders out there like Elementor, there's also Beaver Builder and Breezy, but the one that I've really invested in is Divi because I like the pricing structure and also the support and ease of use for me is a priority. Let me show you how and where to download it from. So here is elegantthemes.com. So all you have to do is to come over here to pricing and this is going to take you now to the pricing page and here we have a yearly access of $89 per year and to be honest this is a real value because you can install this on unlimited websites and this is a risk-free guarantee if you don't like it you can get a money-back guarantee for 30 days and then over here we have the lifetime access of $249 and of course you guessed it I went for the lifetime access all right so let's say you've gone ahead you've purchased Divi what you need to do now is to come over here to account and this is where you have your members area. So what you want to do is to click here on this button to download the Divi theme. So I'm going to click here once and this is going to download Divi. Next, you want to come over here to your account and this is where you want to go to your API keys. So the API key is important because this is how you're going to be getting updates automatically on to your website. So make sure you go ahead and add your API key on your website. So the next stage now is to install Divi on our website. So to install Divi, what you need to do is to come over here to appearance and then click on themes. Now I've already gone ahead and uploaded the theme, but in your case, you want to click here on add new and then you want to click on upload theme and navigate to the folder where you downloaded the theme. Usually it's in the downloads folder. Okay, so once you've installed it, the next stage now is to go ahead and activate it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to hover over here and click on activate. So now the Divi theme has been activated on my site. So now if I come onto this previous site and refresh this page, you're going to notice that this is going to have a style of its own and to be honest we're not too far off but we are going to get there very soon so here we have our courses page and you can see here that that dominant color we had with the default wordpress install is now gone so with this now installed the next part now is to install my uh, template which gives you a header and a footer design because right now you can see we don't have a header and footer so i'm going to also include the link to that file in the video description below it's going to be absolutely free this is just to help you get up and running really fast. All right, so I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to come all the way down here to Divi, click on theme options. And the first thing I need to do is to add my API key, which you can do by coming over here, adding your username and pasting your API key. The API key is the one that I copied from my dashboard from the members area of Divi website. So once you've added it, you just need to click on save changes and you're good to go. Next, you need to click here on a theme builder. So this is where we are going to add our file. So this is where we're going to add our template. So I'm going to come over here to the top. So these two arrows here, you want to click there. And now you're going to get this portability uh, pop up. Next, you want to click on import. Click on here, which says no file selected. And this is going to take us on to our computer. So I'm going to go straight to the desktop because this is where I have my file. So when you download the file, it's going to be zipped like this. So you need to double click it to unzip it. And then once you've unzipped it, you're going to have this file right here. Okay, so that's the file I'm going to click on and I am going to to now click on the bottom here where it says open and this is now going to add my file here. Next, I'm going to click import Divi theme builder templates and this now is going to import my template. And like I said, you're now going to have a header and a footer pre-designed for you, saving you a lot of time. And you're also going to get a 404 page. So this is the page you get when someone tries to go on your site and they go to a page which does not exist. Now let's try this right now before we save. So let's say someone is trying to access a page which does not exist. So I'm just going to add an extra S to courses because I know that page does not exist. So now I am going to hit enter and notice what happens. We are going to get this no results found. And to be honest, this is boring. So we want something that looks much, much better. So back over here now, I am going to hit save changes. And this is going to save all the changes that I have here in the theme builder. And when I come back now and refresh this page, notice what happens. You are now going to have this design, which says, oops, the page you're looking for does not exist. Click here to go home. So if I click here to go home, this is all in the design, it will go to your homepage. And while we're on this homepage 
here you can see now we have a footer and we also have a header. So in a moment, we are going to go in and I'm going to show you how to customize this. Okay, so now that we have this all set, uh, the next step now is to take a look at uh, the pages that we need on our site, which are very, very important. So let's go ahead and create these pages. So I'm going to come over here to our WordPress dashboard and then over here on the pages, I'm going to click on add new. So the first page I need to add is called my dashboard. So I'm going to uh, hit publish. So at the moment, Divi does not have a direct integration with Tutor LMS, but this integration is going to be coming very, very soon. Uh, and once it's announced, I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials about it. But in the meantime, we can use short codes to make our pages look really, really nice. So let me show you how to add these short codes. So over here, this is where we have our short codes. And uh, right now we're creating the dashboard. So I'm going to come over here, copy this short code by hitting command C and then back over here and then back over here on my dashboard page. I'm going to click here on use Divi Builder. I'm going to click here on start from scratch and I'm going to add a single column. And in that column, I'm going to add a text module and then I am going to paste my short code in here just like that. So that's looking great. Now I am going to save this. And as you can see, I have more flexibility here. In fact, I'm going to add a bit of padding here on the top. Usually I go with 100 and I'm going to click here on this broken chain, add the same value to the bottom here. So you can see here, this is our dashboard page and this looks really nice. So I can go and further customize this if I wanted to, because this is now part of the DVD. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, save this page and then I'm going to hit exit visual builder. And now you can see we have this beautiful page and this is now part of our theme. So in the next video, I'm going to continue on and show you how to make your website look awesome with Divi and Tutor LMS. See you in the next video.